to measure your mobility, you're going to need a friend and a protractor. The first thing you want to do is to take your address position standing normally and then shuffle back until your bum's up against the wall. What we're trying to do to start off with is measure how much rotation you can achieve in your upper body uh, without moving your legs or your hips. So I take the address position, cross my hands across my chest and then rotate as far as I can without moving my hips and my knees. And then my colleague comes in and lays a flick stick or some kind of utensil across my back so that we can actually have a look at that angle. Then if I take a protractor, I can measure the angle between the wall and my back and read off the protractor how many degrees of rotation are actually possible in my body. The next measurement we take is for the hips. I do exactly the same thing, cross my hands across my chest, turn the chest as far as I can and then allow it to pull the left hip over. When I do this, I don't want the knees to bend any more than they were in the address position and I just want the hip to come off the wall. We then measure across the bottom of my back what the angle is. If you then add both of these angles together, you should come to 90 degrees. If you don't, then you're going to have to do something pretty drastic in your swing to get yourself to the 90 degrees. Once you've identified where the weak points are in your mobility, then exactly these are the points that you've got to be working on. Obviously, you'll want to measure the right side as well, how far you can rotate with the right side and the right hip, but the priority is always on the left side because that's going to determine how many extra joints you use in the backswing. What we're also interested in in is how far you can actually move your left arm across your chest. Obviously the depth of your chest cavity, the size of your bicep was all going to play a role in this, but there's also a lot of people who have mobility problems in the left shoulder, so we're really trying to see if there is a, a problem with the mobility there. If you take, uh, simply stand up against the wall with your heels on the wall and your shoulders on the wall, and then place your left hand on top of your right hand, so basically the wrists are on top of one another, and then you want to pull back with your right elbow and right wrist, pulling the left arm across your chest without allowing the um, shoulder to come off the wall, and then measure the angle of the upper arm. The final two measurements you want to take are how much flexibility you have in your right wrist and also how much mobility you have in your right shoulder. We do that first of all in that we stand opposite a wall, put the hand on the wall keeping the right arm straight and then slide the hand down the wall until either the palm of the hand comes away from the wall or the right elbow has to bend and then we measure that angle. For the shoulder, there's a similar measurement. I stand against the wall with my right arm at, L at, at right angles and then bend the forearm away from the wall and measure the angle. 